this. Keep it flying. Keep it flying? And, and why do you want to keep it flying? Why do you want to, why would anybody want to erase our heritage? Well, some people would say that that flag symbolizes uh, racism. It symbolizes slavery. Yeah, but maybe he really, really likes slavery. Um, and they might have some valid points there. Uh, that's their opinion, you know, they're welcome to their opinion if they want it. Are you, are you pro-slavery or against slavery? I have no comment, but thank you for the interview. I'll give you one more chance, you, you, pro, pro, pro or anti-slavery. Uh, no comment. I, well, I'll give you one more opportunity to say if you're pro or anti-slavery. No, I don't, no comment. All right, well, there you have it. No, no comment on the uh, if you're in favor of slavery or not. That was Jason Selvig from The Good Liars at the NRA conference uh, where he gave an obvious racist literally multiple opportunities to say that he's against slavery, but he just couldn't get himself to do it. Because guess what? There are people in this country who thought slavery was great, would love slavery to still exist. Um, and that was at the NRA conference which actually makes a lot of sense. And I'll get to the details of why I think that in just a moment. But Jenk, I mean, some people might watch that video and find it shocking. I watch that video and I think it's just another day in America. Yeah, I hear you. So, you know, people who wear the Confederate flag or fly to our office, yeah, heritage, heritage, what, what part of the heritage? See, that guy just made it clear, at least he's honest. He's like, yeah, the slavery part of the heritage, that's the part I liked, where my loser ass felt like I was above someone. Even though I actually toiled in the fields too, and the rich people had the mansions and the plantations, etc. But I was made to feel better because I arbitrarily was told my skin color made me better than someone else. And like a dupe, I believed it and I worked my ass off and got nothing. And by the way, the white people that were in favor of slavery and apparently still are, the ones that are all lazy bums, never wanted to do a day of work in their lives. So they actually kidnapped other people and made them do their work for them because they're lazy and they're savages. That's who the guy, that guy right there is a savage. He thinks, oh, I'd rather whip somebody, I'd rather kill someone, I'd rather lynch someone than do my own work because he's a bum, he's a loser. And that loser thinks he's superior to other people. I mean, what are we gonna do with people like that? You can't do anything and look, that man, that elderly man wearing the Confederate flag shirt, uh, refusing to condemn slavery. He's someone's grandfather, he might be someone's husband, someone's father. And when I look at him, all I can think is, all we can do is sit around and wait for people like this guy to croak. It's or, the truth, it's the truth, it's the truth, okay? It, Bane of our existence, people like this. So all we can do is hope that people like him, people of his ilk, just leave this earth finally. And based on how old he is, doesn't seem like it's gonna be that long from now. Yeah, but it, no, but they have a whole new supply now because of Trump. So yes, there was old racists and eventually they died of natural causes. And, and it looked like the country was headed towards having less racists, which I think is a good thing, but the right wing now disagrees. So, but now Tucker Carlson and Donald Trump and others have created a whole new batch. And they're much, much younger and they, they bother with some code words, barely. So they don't say, oh, I'm not in favor of slavery. I'm just saying there's an IQ difference and there's a crime difference. And they and I, I listen to a fancy podcast from uh, Charles Murray or someone else. And, and, and I'm gonna put a sophisticated spin on my racism. Look, man, if you're a racist, you are less intelligent than other people. Uh, that's the great irony of racists. They think, oh yeah, that pigmentation, that, that's what decides uh, brain power. Uh, since mine is lighter than yours, uh, I'm smarter. No, Jake, it's not the skin color according to them, it's the culture. Oh yeah. It's the culture. But then when we try to defend Western culture and say, hey, you know what, it's in favor of enlightenment, education, habeas corpus, all these different things. They're like, nah, I hate it, I hate it. democracy. We don't live in a democracy, we don't live in a democracy, we live in a republic, we get to oppress you. No, but the cornerstone of Western civilization is democracy. I hate it, we don't live in a democracy. Okay, then, all right, then you're a vicious, stupid racist. I got it. And do you want me to have sympathy for that old geezer? Is that what you want? He wants black people enslaved in chains? I'm supposed to have sympathy for him? So if you're a family member of his, get him some goddamn help, man. But honestly, you gotta get 40% of the country help now. They, they, almost all Republicans have a slightly different version 
of that line of thinking. And, oh, and then what do they say? They all say the same code word that he started with, our heritage. You can't erase our heritage. Can you That's imagine? what the whole critical race theory nonsense is about. Can you imagine if you proudly flaunted a heritage of losing, of being <laughs> yeah, traitorous losers? Yeah, that's what you're proud of. Like, how embarrassing is that? I mean, it's like people flying the Nazi flag in Germany, going, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa!" You can't erase our heritage. It doesn't mean you have to celebrate the Nazis. Oh my God, did I just compare you guys to Nazis? Yes, I did. You literally would whip people, steal babies from parents, and sell them like they were a couch or furniture. You would lynch people and have a picnic around them. Did you do it? No, you didn't do it. There's no reason for you to defend it. it yes, it's in our past. But when you defend it, all of a sudden you own it. As if it's like a positive part of our heritage. You didn't need to do that. Right. But you you betray your own opinions and you make it obvious where you stand when you say, that's a part of our heritage that we have to protect. No, you don't have to protect it. You protect it because you're a racist. So let's talk a little bit about the NRA conference and more importantly, how the Second Amendment very much had a Part of the Second Amendment was really about protecting the right to own slaves, right? So there's a, a historian named Carol Anderson. She's actually written at length about this, and I want to quote her. She had an interview with NPR that you guys can check out as well. And she talks about how the Second Amendment was in response to the concerns coming out of the Virginia Ratification Convention for the Constitution, led by Patrick Henry and George Mason, that a militia that was controlled solely by the federal government would not be there to protect the slave owners from an enslaved uprising, okay? Yep. So in other words, if ordinary people, aka slave owners, don't have the right to bear arms and they just rely on the federal government to protect their right to own slaves, they might be in trouble, they might be in trouble. James Madison crafted that language in order to mollify the concerns coming out of Virginia and the Anti-Federalists that they would still have full control over their state militias. And those militias were used in order to quell slave revolts. The Second Amendment really provided the cover, the assurances that Patrick Henry and George Mason needed that the militias would not be controlled by the federal government, but that they would be controlled by the states and at the beck and call of the states to be able to put down these uprisings. So look, I think the history of the founding fathers is interesting and complicated and nuanced. Uh, and I think as some of them did terrible things, they actually put forward ideas that wound up healing uh, the country eventually, a long time later. Uh, but Patrick Henry is an excellent example of uh, how you shouldn't revere them uh, without thinking it through. So he's the one that said, give me liberty or give me death. And then later makes an argument for, no, I need to have guns so I can shoot the slaves if they try to escape mm -hmm. and try to get to liberty. In other words, if they try to get to liberty, I will give them death. That's the same exact Patrick Henry. So yes, guns were used for slave patrols in the South. That was their quote unquote militias, literally. That was their militias, the North had different militias. And in the Second Amendment, it says a well regulated militia being necessary. And everybody just refused, to, the right wing can't speak English. So they're like, no, it doesn't have to be a militia. It literally says it, and by the way, they were originally slave patrols in half the country. And it says well regulated, they're like, no, it means no regulation. You guys speak English? You know, you're the ones always saying like, well, speak, it speak it English doesn't matter. in this country. It doesn't matter, all that matters at this point is how our right wing Supreme Court interprets the Constitution. Yeah. And they're about to lose, as I talked about on the show recently, they're about to loosen gun laws even further to essentially allow for concealed carry everywhere throughout the country, regardless of what your state laws indicate. So that's where we're headed. That, it, I mean, it's just, this is the country we live in. And unless we have actual bold leaders who not only want to pass the right legislation, but want to fundamentally reform and change our institutions, we're screwed. That is the reality of the situation. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get 
playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.